Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Nice to see you. Thank you. Wow, Thank you. I have full house today. It's Monday, huh? <laughs> I hope it's going to be this way Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All right. <laughs> Walter, hi. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Nice what? to see you. Very good. All right. So I have Walter and Williams and Eric and Jose, Rodriguez, Rocio. Juan Arevalo, David, Jose Ramos, Flor, Francisco, Diego, Herbert, Lisset, Eli, Noe, Daniel, and Manuel. Very good. So I have like about 17 people. Oh my gosh, with me 18. Wow. So how was your week? <laughs> it was good. It was good? Excellent. Excellent. I like to hear that. Very good. All right. Okay. I know you miss me, but we're back. So that's good. It's <laughs> being positive, all right? Okay, very good. Yeah. So guys, we are going to begin the third week. So we have this week and next week and we're done. Okay, so we have two more weeks. We're half the course. Okay, so right after this one is pre-advanced three and then you are almost finishing kind of. All right. So make sure that you submit the papers once they send them to you. So don't, I mean, don't, 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 don't forget to do that because otherwise you will not be able to like enroll on the next level, all right? But you need to work on the platform as well. All right, so because this is the third week and we have this one and the next one, we're working today on section four the whole week and then section five next week and we're done. We're right on track. Okay, so that's the idea, and that's how it should be. Okay, so guys, are we ready to begin section four? Yeah, no, so so. Section no. Yeah. No. Oh my goodness. All right, but you know what, guys? I was checking section three on the last video by plus Gerund, the video of the teacher, but five comments. And what about my 18 students? Uh, yo he llegado la 3.9. No sé, es by plus Jaron, el último tema que vimos y está el video y luego dice, escriba en la discussion box y solo hay como cinco gentes y ninguno de mis alumnos, así que son de otra gente. Qué barbaridad. No. Ay, no sé. No ¿En serio? Así. Se lo voy a enseñar, solo cinco, lo yeah. puedo con esta manera. Quiero ver, vamos a ver si es screenshot. Así screenshot. que, lo, lo, screenshot, ya lo voy a enseñar. Así que los mando hoy en la noche que me escriban ahí. Quiero 18 comentarios. Si hay de usted, ponga su nombre, porque si no pone su nombre, le pongo quito un punto. Ok, teacher. Así que andamos enojados, voy a ver. All right, no, but the idea the is... no le he sentado bien. What happened your weekend? Nothing. I missed you guys. That's the thing. <laughs> but you know what? If I don't pressure you, you guys relax too much. That's the thing, all right? And so, no, seriously, the idea, guys, is whenever there is a video and they ask you or she asks you, I don't know who she is, that's okay, when she asks you to type on the discussion box, please write something, all right? The idea is for you to practice writing something. I always check it, okay? So that's what I want you to do. But anyway, we're on section four, okay? So section four begins with the usage of have and get plus passive voice. Some people, well, not some people, but they are also called causative verbs, okay? So either theory or the other one, they take you to the same way, anyway. All right, so, ah, Elmer, there you are. So quiet today. Um, teacher, I have teacher. a question. Yes, what's your question, Juan? Um, yeah, um, well, I, I typed the, 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 the sentences whenever the, uh, on the video the, the teacher says that we have to, um, to leave the comments. Yes. Um, but uh, I don't know, I just started today to put my name. Um, right. Yeah, I, I used to do it just with, for example, the topic. Uh, okay. Uh, for example, that was, um, well, the topic we, we, seen, we have seen before, um, but I just started today to put my name. I don't know if I will have any problem. No, no. I mean, that's even better for me, Juan, because I see that you did it. 
And I mean, uh -huh. remember that this course is not only us taking it, there's another group taking it. Uh -huh. All right, so everybody writes, uh -huh. and sometimes it's better for you to write your name because I know uh -huh. you are my student. All right, uh -huh. so for yeah. someone yeah, named Rafael, I don't have, said. right, I don't have anybody named mm -hmm. Rafael, so I wouldn't really tell, I mean, there wouldn't be a point telling me, telling you right now uh -huh. about Rafael if he's not in my class. All right, so oh, okay. the idea is it's easier for me to like, if you write your name, if you type your name and then the, the comment and I check it and if there is something that I need like you to improve, then I'll tell you one. So it's better to write your name, okay? I didn't know Williams? that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it yeah. because I watch oh, the, the responses and everything and I can help you okay. that way too. Yeah, right. I, I, okay. I type well, I type answer on it. Yeah, and, okay, yeah, you realize that. Yeah. I don't know if who is it, right? But it's better yeah. to type it, okay? Okay. Very good. Thank okay. you, and thank you, thank Williams. You. All right, very good. So, El Mercito, ¿por qué tuvo mal weekend que no me está hablando ahora? Qué barbaridad. Good evening, my dear teacher. Ya rato la estoy saludando, lo que pasa es que ha venido enojada usted. No, yo no he venido enojada. Yo también... ¿Cómo no? Si todos nos dimos cuenta. <laughs> Mentira. I'm just enjoying that you guys are here with me. All mm. right. So what I want sure. you to yes. In the in the platform, some of the videos have different captions. Uh -huh. um, I know the idea is to be familiar with the different accents. Yes. Of English, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. But it's a little bit difficult to to, to understand everything. Yes. All right. Yeah, I know. Um, well, that I know what you're saying. For, for but, example, uh -huh. in, in one of them, when the in, in, one, uh -huh. in, in one in one video that described uh -huh. the the level of the Iceland, the the water of the Iceland is um, increasing. Uh huh. The so first they, video. They, they, the the first. Uh -huh, yes. They pronounce the water. Yeah. Yeah. It's because it's British. It's, British. And that's, yeah, that's the idea, Walter. The idea, for example, in this uh, course, there's always an intro video that, of course, I don't do, all right? Uh, and they're based from the, uh, the, the, the books, all right? So what they want you to do is to experiment or to experience different accents uh, just for you to have contact with real English speakers, all right? So that's the point behind it, Walter. I know sometimes it's more difficult to understand, but if the more you do like listening practices that way, it's better for you. All right. Yeah, uh, for example, I have my uh, my my general uh, manager in, in the company that, that I work I am working. Yes. Uh, his na nationality is um, um, Chinese. Okay. Well. Uh -huh. So, but he's. Um, living he's living in the united states so his english is is a little bit uh, uh difficult to to understand also mm -hmm. yeah 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 i walter the idea is for you to expose yourself to different accents and that will help you understand a lot more all right uh, okay. yeah yeah mm -hmm. and sometimes yeah. it's a challenge but i think that's what a, that's what it is about you know, to yes challenge yourself yeah, uh, yeah. Ah, ¿Qué dijo? Usted habla bien bonito, le Ay, güey, well, mercito. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so, guys, I know that you probably watched this, and if you haven't, you're going to watch it with me right now. Not the whole video. You're not going to watch everything. I just want to take you to what, where we, I mean, where I want you to get. Right now, we're going to be talking with have, about have or get and they use passive voice. Remember that, that, that at the very beginning of section three, I reminded you what passive voice was, and it's because section three and section four, we're gonna be using it, all right? So that's why I reminded you what passive voice was, so we're gonna use it again here, okay? So I just want you guys to listen, but not everything, I think we're gonna, here, hold on. All right, hold on guys. Have Listen. or get something done. 
Use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Active. Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? You can have Hazel's personal services fix your bike. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Passive. Do you know where I can have my bike fixed? You can have your bike fixed by Hazel's personal services. You can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. Yay, hey, hold on. All right. Personal services. So here, guys, what I want you to see, were you able to listen? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Yes. What see here is that here in this um, part of the video, we're putting both uh, voices together, passive voice and active voice. Again, we always begin with active voice because that's the one we usually use. So here we have, use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. So we are, what we're trying to teach you here is for you to be able to say when someone does something for you, not that you do it yourself, is either you paid someone or you rented something from someone or they did something for you, okay? So usually, when we say that I paid someone to like clean my house, I'm gonna say it using passive voice, okay? So the active voice right now, this is the first one that we have there, it says active, active voice. Do you know, that's a question, do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? You have have as a normal with like the base form in this case. Nothing happens to that one, that's a question. Second sentence, it says, you can have Hazel's personal services fix your bike, all right? So here we have the usage of have and the verb fix and nothing happens to the verb, okay? And the same thing happens to the third one. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. And I'm gonna tell you in a matter of seconds when to use have or when to use get or why the difference, all right? Now, that's active voice. Okay, now passive voice is a little bit different. It says, do you know, the same question, where I can have my bike fixed? What happened to the verb on, the, on, the, on that question right there, guys? That is in past. In past, past what? Past participle. In past participle because it's passive voice, right? And remember that in passive voice, we have to use participle. Hello. So, do you know where I can have my bike fixed? And then someone answers and says, you can have, again, the have here, your bike fixed by Hazel's personal okay. services. All right, now, if you notice, because it's passive voice, we can omit the by or we can say it. All right, you can, you can say it like up to the point of saying, you can have your bike fixed. Have by whom? In that case, I need that information because I'm asking. All right, thank you. Oh, otra vez. All right, you can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. Again, buy or at is optional because it's passive voice. But in this case, if my question is, for example, I say, Eric, do you know where I can have my car fixed? I'm asking you that way, all right? So you say, ah, you can have it fixed at a uh, all right? So you give me the place, so I need to know where because you need to tell me by whom because that's what I'm asking, all right? It wouldn't have any sense, if it wouldn't make any sense, sorry. If I say, well, do you know where I can have my car fixed? And then your response, you can, you can have your car fixed. How about by whom or where at? So I need that information, all right? So in this case, it's not so optional because if you omit it, it won't make sense, yeah? Or the other one, it says, you can get your bike fixed at a repair shop, okay? So you tell me where, or you tell me by whom, yeah? You guys understand? Yeah, a little yes, bit. I a mean, bit. Uh -huh. what is the difference between this a passive and an active voice in the first one. I mean, because we were uh, 
learning about passive boy, mm -hmm. but what is the difference? Because right now, uh, Eric, what they are trying to show you here is that when you want to say that someone does something for you, you use most likely you will use passive voice. So this is another way to use passive voice. When you Depends. want to say, uh -huh, when you want to say that some someone did something for you that you didn't do it yourself or you will not do it yourself someone will do it for you okay so for example yeah. if you don't understand a test to say something and then you're saying ah jessica's gonna, jessica's gonna like made it make uh take it for me all right so i'm gonna do it for you all right so in that case that you're not gonna do it yourself you have to use it would be good to use passive voice so this this it's not that active voice is not correct, Eric, but it's like you can use either or. Yeah? Okay. All right. Very good. Anybody else, you guys, please ask me questions because I don't know if, plus I don't see you. I see Eric and a couple of more, but not everybody. So I don't know your faces. Um, uh, I see an instructor in, the, <coughs> in this answer. Mm -hmm. For active and passive, mm -hmm. uh, only in the verb is this, is the change. In this case, only. changing, I'm going to show you right now, Noemi, I'm going to go on to the other part of the video and you're going to see the structure. But because this is called have or get, so we're using have or get plus past participle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. So we're going to... Mm -hmm. I'm going to continue here. You can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. I know this is not new for you. Active and passive, remember? We have told you that in English we may say the same sentence in another way. See, Eric, that's, that's the whole thing. Remember that there are certain things that you can say it either in passive voice or active voice and it's okay. You're saying the exact same thing. All right. So in this case, you're learning to use passive to say that something is being done for you, okay? okay. This yeah. time we will learn how to use active and passive using have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Okay, so this is, this is what I want, you guys, I want you guys to understand. You're using this structure because you're describing or you're saying that something, a service or something was done by someone else not by you it was done by eric by francisco by noe by elmer by flor but not by me yeah because if i say if i did it then i say it normally i did it i repair my car because i'm a mechanic yeah but in this case i am not a mechanic so i need jorge to get like get my car fixed and that's when i use passive voice yeah 20 people in class and I don't hear everybody. Okay, I'm gone, I'm gone. I'll keep on going. And then if you have questions, you stop me, okay? Else. Okay. Okay. Thank As you. always, let's work thank on active first. Okay, active voice first, as always, okay? That's the way it should be. You can, for example, active. You can have a repair shop fix your bike. You're using have because this is the structure that we're using have plus the base form of the verb. In this case, it's fix. You can have a repair shop fix your bike. What are we using? Have plus someone, in this case, repair shop, plus base form of the verb, in this case, fix, yeah? Or you can have a dress made by, I don't know, someone, all right? In that case, that would be passive voice. But in this case, you can say, you can have a dress uh, make on the fix and fit or someone all right so you use you can use um, active voice then we're going here you can have a repair shop fix your bike we're using have plus someone plus base form of the verb let's type an example using it you can get a repair shop to fix your bike get plus someone plus infinitive verb Moving on, we have passive. You can have or get your bike fixed. It's optional to write at or buy a shop. Have or get plus object 
class pass participles is optional to use at or by. All right, so I want to stop here. This is the passive structure, okay? So here we can use have or get. You're not going to use both. You're not going to use it. You're not going to use them together. Either you use have or you use get. All right, don't get it combined. Now, when do I use get and when do I use have? Get is a little bit more informal. All right, and have is a little bit more formal. All right, I can say that that's one of the biggest differences. All right, so you can have your bike fixed. All right, you're using have because that's the structure that it requires from us or get plus the object, in this case is your bike, and then the past participle fixed. Yes, omit it or not omit it, but in this case you cannot because otherwise it will not make sense. Yo le estoy preguntando, ¿a dónde puedo llevar a mi carro a reparar? Y usted me dice, ah, lo puede llevar a reparar. Ajá, pero ¿a dónde? Entonces, no puede decirme hasta, you can get your car fixed. Tiene que decirme a dónde lo tengo que, lo puedo llevar a que me lo reparen. ¿Sí? Porque I'm not going to fix it. I can't fix cars. Yes? Okay. Yeah, guys. Hola, hola. Hello. Questions, questions? <laughs> no okay. Questions. Um, and can we use um, either at or in by? Yeah, uh, it, de it depends what you want to say. If you want to say, for example, uh, you can get your by fixed by Elmer. All right, then you say by whom? By, or you can say uh, you yeah. can get your car or your bike fixed at um, repair shop. Uh, a repair shop or a, uh, at Siman or at Omnisport or at somewhere. I don't know. I'm just saying names, all right? So that would depend oh. on, uh, I'm not, I don't have any business with them. <laughs> that would depend on what you want to say. All right? Teacher. Yes? The main key on the passive uh, voices when when you mention uh, for, for uh, who or for, uh, yes, for who is going to be repaired at the end of the sentence. Yeah. That's why, yes, Elmer, that's why eh, la teoría siempre nos dice que el by va al final porque puede ser omitido o no. En este caso no tendría sentido omitirlo. All right, pero, pero puede, por eso va al final el by or el at. All right, so you can have your bike fixed at eh, Juanitos. I don't know. My dear teacher. Yes, my dear Elmer. Eh, según comprendo, activo o pasivo. Más que todo es eh, importantísimo la estructura que claro. tenga la, la, la situación. O sea yep. que eh, definitivamente es como eh, guayabiernos, por decir sí. una palabra, esta estructura para saber cuál es. Sí. Y sabe, exactamente. Sí, una, vez, una vez usted entendió la estructura, se memorizó la estructura. Esto es como el presente simple, que usted se acuerda que la S, le pongo la S singular ese cuando va no sé cómo y es o sea todo es memorístico all right sí. una vez usted se lo memoriza tiene que recordar que si lo va a usar en forma pasiva va a llevar o el how o el get eso depende de usted de su gusto de lo formal o informal de lo que usted está uh -huh. diciendo pero tiene que llevar el pasado participio del verbo ajá y va ¿verdad? y va en medio de eso el objeto el objeto ¿verdad? exacto uh -huh. ajá. o sea right. la bicicleta en este caso sí uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El objeto siempre va a ser la bicicleta, por ejemplo, en este sentido, sí. siempre es la bicicleta. Sí. Entonces, es como en, en esa estructura va, porque en el, acti, en el active va, va, eh, va al final, ¿verdad? Va al principio. Bike. Al principio. Bye, bike. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How so? No, porque no es la estructura get someone an infinity verb. Veámoslo, ya me olvidó. Sí. <risa> Aquí en. Ajá. Ah, get sí, sí, someone. sí, sí, sí. Ajá. Sí. To fix your bike. Ajá. To fix Entonces, your bike. Ajá, your bike ajá. pasa. Ser, Entonces, yeah. al final. Ya. Yeah, es esa right, la yeah. situación. Right. Ay, yes. <risa> Very Según good usted no me estaba fijando. <risa> Como ya no lo veo, no pone la cámara. Es que Teacher, la tengo tapada Ricola. porque hago conferencias. Oiga, ajá. 
Repeat. Eh, está eh, repeat el this. Mucha uh -huh. información, el mer, gracias. Eh, too much. <risa> eh, no sé quién me estaba hablando, perdón. Eh, que si pueden repetir ah, por, porque la, ajá, la, la, el me don confuse me. Ajá, el, vea, porque ya teníamos claro lo del pasivo verdad cómo sí. iba la estructura sí pero pero entonces en el activo cómo queda el activo va al final al final porque, ajá porque entonces pasa a ser objeto después acuérdese que el objeto es el que recibe la acción Uh -huh. es, es la que estaba enseñando, no sé quién está hablando, es la que Anita. estaba enseñando antes. Anita Ajá, es, la que estaba, pero... es la que estaba enseñando Ajá. antes la estructura. Póngala, teacher. Yo creo Ajá, que, que la tiene. ponga, ya. porfa. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Ajá. Ya voy, William, ya voy, ya voy, ya voy, ya le vi la manito. Uy, espérenme que la hice. Aquí la tengo yo si gusta, teacher. Oh, excuse me. No, sí, sí. Ya voy, Williams, ya voy. Ajá, Anita. Esta, ah, okay. Yes. Mm. Mejor le voy a tomar otra postura. Ok. Thank you. All right, Williams, ajá, what was your question, Williams? Yeah, uh, it is about the question. Uh, always is, do you know where? No, necessarily. Can you tell okay. me? You can say, can you tell me where? Okay, okay. Right, it depends who you're talking to. It's the same thing as when to use have and when to use get. If you're talking to your boss, you probably will say have instead of get. If you're talking to your best friend, you're probably gonna use get instead of have because it's a little bit more informal. All right, get. so at the beginning of your question, it would depend who you're talking to. Okay. All right, yeah, very good, okay. Any other question, guys? I like it when you ask me questions because I feel like um, you guys are paying attention. Um, no sé si nos va a poner unos ejemplos suyos así, que yeah, usted yeah, los yeah. hace muy lindos. Ay, 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 voy, espéreme. Sí, Call bien estructurados. No sé. Ahorita, espéreme, no es, no es, no es, no es. Ahorita voy. Thank you. All right, okay. Here we have. Veamos esta, a ver si nos ayuda esta. A ver, have something done. All right, this is what we're talking about here. All right, one of, oh, se lo voy a leer aquí. One of, one of the ways we use the passive voice is to talk about an action without saying who did it. For example, we can see this person relaxing because someone else, mira ahí está el muchacho ahí bien veranero, eh? Solo que no está en cuarentena. For example, we can see the person is, uh, this person relaxing because someone else is taking care of his problems. How can we express this meaning with passive voice? All right, so here we have, there's a special passive construction with have. Have plus something, the object plus past participle. Examples, I have my business taken care of. All right. That, that would be the passive voice. The active, someone, I don't know who, is taking care of my business. Okay? Another example. He has his dog walked. All right? Quiere decir que alguien sacó a pasear su perrito. Yeah? ¿Por quién? I don't know. All right? Yes? Now, here, this is like, I think this is very important for you guys. We have the form, the present simple, have, get, something done. Todos estos, en es, es el mismo ejemplo, obviamente, y todos están usando cut. Acuérdense que la, the, el truco de cut es que es el mismo presente, pasado y pasado participio. Pues sepa que está siendo usado en past participle. So present simple, I have, or I get my hair, my hair cut. Or past simple, I had, got my, I had, or I got my hair cut. Uh, present continuous, y así está en todos los tiempos que puede, usted puede pensar. In this construction, like in all passive sentences, we need to use the past participle. And that's the important point here, that you need to remember that you're using that. All right. All right, we can use this, in this construction in the following cases. We make someone else do something for us, or we pay someone, están viendo, verdad? Yes. yes. Okay. Or we pay someone else to do something for us. Another way that you can use this structure 
is when something negative happens and we have no control over it. Something bad happens to us, all right? So first, let's talk about when someone else does something that we ask of them. This is the example. Jeremy's car is in terrible condition. He's going to have his car fixed by someone. He hopes it won't be too expensive. This means that Jeremy will not do the work himself. He will pay a professional mechanic to do the work for him. He will have the work done to his car. All right, so up there you, you notice that it says he's going to have his car fixed. All right, so we're using have and we're using fixed. More examples. The living room in Terry's new house is a terrible salmon pink color. She wants to have it painted before she moves in. All right, so have and painted. Lizzie can talk. Hey, Lizzie. Lizzie can talk right now. She's having her uh, hair cut by the barber at the moment. I need to go to the dentist today to have a tooth pulled. I hope it's very fast. Will you have your party uh, catered or are you going to cook all the food yourself? All right, so all of this, they are using have somehow plus the all of the verb, okay? Por eso en estos ejemplos se nota el cuadro de arriba donde tenían los, los diferentes tiempos verbales porque lo están usando. All right, so you need to mm -hmm. like go back to the chart and kind of say, ah, así se estructura en este tiempo. All right, pero si se fija, todos estos ejemplos llevan have y llevan el pasado participio, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay. All right, then we have here, Millie, and oh, look at that. Millie had her dress sewn. I think so, by a professional seamstress. She wanted to look perfect for her special day. We can use mm -hmm. this construction in any of the English verb tenses. Eso, ojo con eso, ahí les está diciendo, lo, lo, refiriéndose al cuadrito. Dice, we can use this construction, el have or get plus past participle, in any of the English verb tenses. Pasado, presente, pasado, futuro, you name it. All we need to do is, lo que decía Elmer, the correct form of have depending on the verb tense we're using. The rest of the, the construction object plus past participle remain, remains exactly the same. Now, let's look at the second meaning of have plus object plus past participle. Todos estos ejemplos que habíamos visto, hablamos de que alguien, yo voy a pagarle a alguien para que me decore la casa, para que me cosa el vestido, para que me pinte la casa, para que me arregle el carro. All right, pero hay otra forma de usar el have, este es have plus object or plus past participle. We can also use this construction when something negative happens to us when we don't expect it or want it. All right, example. The homeowner had all his money stolen. The police still haven't caught the mysterious robber. All right. The, the owner of the money did not want it to be stolen. Nadie quiere que la roben. This was a negative experience that this person suffered. All right. Entonces, podemos usar esta estructura que estamos aprendiendo no solo para describir o comunicar que alguien está haciendo algo por nosotros, sino que también para explicar o contar una experiencia mala o negativa que nos haya pasado. All right, more examples. The children are all upset because they had their toys taken away. I asked the had, I asked the taken away. All right, they wanted to keep playing. The event was supposed to be outside, but look at all this rain. The organizer, Miss Huffington, is terribly upset because she's had her big event ruined. All right, so again, ahí está el ruin. Es una situación que le pasó a ella negativa, and she's upset. Bruno is still not bad. He says he's had his heart broken. It's so terrible that he's going through the divorce. And the last example here, it says Phil doesn't want to come back to class. He had his feelings hurt last week. 
and he just isn't enthusiastic about the subject anymore. Ojo, hurt está en pasado participio. Lo que pasa que es hurt, hurt, hurt. Presente, pasado y pasado participio. No digan, ay, se equivocó. No, no me equivoqué. All right. My dear teacher. Poor Phil. Voy, solo lee lo último. Poor Phil. He suffered a, ne a negative experience that he did not expect. He certainly didn't want to be teased. Yes, Elmer. Y esta sí la puede compartir. <risa> esta sí la puedo compartir. Siempre es así como el bullying adentro. Sí, el mercito ahorita se la voy a mandar. All right. Yes, Noemisita, ¿le quedó un poco más claro? No. Um, so, so. <risa> what happened, Noe? What happened? All right. Pero voy a volver a ver el video otra vez porque sí. Sí, acuérdese que igual yo se los pongo ahorita, no por otra cosa, sino que porque sé que no, lo, la mayoría no lo había visto y otro como porque lo puedo ir pausando y explicando, no solo es por ponerlo, ¿no? Pero aparte tenemos esta presentación y acuérdense que tenemos toda la semana esta para hablar de la sección 4, incluyendo este tema. Ahorita es como la teoría. Los voy a mandar a sus grupitos para que intentemos saber qué nos sale ahorita. Mañana otra presentación que refuerce esto mismo y otros ejercicios para que usted no se sienta tan in, like, así como medio perdida. ¿Ok? ¿No es? Sí. Yes, very good. Okay. Questions, aparte de Noé y Elmer, ¿alguien más? Questions, questions. Yo tengo una pregunta relacionada al tema. Yes. Manuel. Bueno, está, sí, estábamos hablando de recaer en la forma activa, pero, y para estructurar una pregunta, ¿cuál es ah, la estructura que tenemos bien. que seguir? Manuelito, se lo prometo que eso viene mañana. Ah, no okay. le puedo dar ahorita preguntas y oraciones porque lo voy a hacer una sola pelotita. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces, thank vamos, sí, thank you for your question, pero sí, no se preocupe, las preguntas las vemos mañana, all right, pero ahorita necesitaba como que entendamos una sola oración, sin preguntarla, aunque en la plataforma ya le tira la pregunta, all right, que es la que vimos ahí, pero mañana nos metemos más en las questions, Manuel, oye. Ok, thank you. Thank you. Any other question, guys? No questions, señorita, Norma. Question. No questions, Normita. No le he visto en toda la semana, Normita. Pasada. I understand. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So what, I, what we're going to do right now, guys, I'm going to send you to your groups. And what I want is for you to think about something that you want to get fixed. Puede ser arreglado, que usted quiere que alguien le compre algo, que le mande a hacer algo. No, nada malo. Eh, un vestido o algo una camisa, un pantalón, o something, all right? La idea es que lo haga con el have, o si usted gusta, con el get, ¿ya? Vamos a ver, si yo estoy trabajando, por ejemplo, con Juan Arevalo, entonces pensemos entre los dos, Juan, unas tres oraciones, a ver cómo nos salen ahorita. Passive voice, not active, ¿ya? No se meta ahorita en preguntas porque no le he dado esas preguntas ahorita. Only sentences, yes Ok. Ahorita inténtelo y yo voy a ir viendo en sus grupitos a ver cómo nos va. Igual mañana seguimos con este tema, ¿no? Se Only preocupa. passive. Only passive sentences, my friend. Okay. There you go. You may start clicking on your groups. Hello.
yo, yo, como te digo, le he leído un montón de veces y, uh -huh. y todavía me cuesta. Hagamos otro por ahí. Uh -huh. My dear teacher. Hello, my dear Ender. He leído, he visto este video, le digo a José un montón de veces y créame que me está costando un poco. Sí, ¿verdad? Que nos revise ahí la uh -huh. teacher, ¿cómo vamos? Pero, pero mire, el mercito, ya le vi las oraciones, ellos también. Ajá, pues sí, eso estamos tratando, teacher. Excelente. Uh, think about a sentence with about a picture. Picture. Ajá. Las oraciones de. No, o sea, piensen en una estructurar una oración sobre una foto. Que la foto se, ah, me la, la puede tomar en el estudio, Raf, no sé, alguien. Can get a photo. Oh. Oops. You, you can get a beautiful photo no, foto. in, in ah. Foto Flores. Uh -huh. You can get a photo. ¿Qué? Okay. At Foto Flores. Take. <laughs> But what's the past participle of take? No, el mercito. Maybe. No. Ese es pasado ¿Cuál es? <laughs> Me voy, los dejo con la tarea. Adiós. They took taking. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Very taking. good. Yeah, taken. Taking. Bye. Hi, Noé. Hi, Hi, Juan. Hi. How are you doing? A ninguno veo, ni a Juan, ni a Eric, ni a Noé. Qué barbaridad. <risa> ah, me estaba ajá, comiendo una mangona. Qué barbaridad, y no me da. Ya me voy a poner yo también en cámara así, oscura. <risa> um, you can ay, think it's more comfortable. Eh, you can get a mangoneada yeah. prepared by eh, orquídea. Right? Ah, ah, there you go. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. yes, me dijo Eric o Juan, no sé quién dijo teacher. Me. Ah. Eh, for example, me. Yes. Eh, for example, eh, if you ask me a question, uh -huh. eh, that the answer could be: You can have your furniture cleaned yes. by Eric's company. Perfect. I mean, yes. If you are talking, or I mean, if someone else is asking me a question, I have to use a your. Yeah, because usually, Eric, the question is going to be like, do you know where I can get my furniture cleaned? And then you can say, your, you, you can get your furniture cleaned at Eric's okay. business. Mm -hmm. But usually, your answer is your because I'm asking about something that I need to get done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unless I said, hey, you know what, Noemi needs, Noemi, her car broke down. Do you know where she can get her car fixed? And then you say, ah, she can get it fixed at Vieras Taller. Yeah? Okay. yeah. So would that, your okay, answer, Eric, will depend on the question. Yeah, okay, I understand. On behalf yeah. of Noemi, then it's going to be she. Or I'm asking on behalf of Juan, it's going to be, oh, he can get or he can have. But if I'm asking, like, hey, do you know where I can get my car fixed? Then you say, yeah, you can get it fixed. But eh, the ideas, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I understand. Yes. Yes, very good. All right. Okay, I'm going to go check on who uh, is one. calling me right now. Hello. Hello. Hi, Francisco. Hi, Jose. Hi, teacher. All right. Are those your sentences? Yes. All right. I wish to have my computer fixed at this moment. I need to get my desk cleaned. I want to have my car painted. I need to have the dinner cooked. He needs to have, oops, whoops, what's that? Hold on. Uh, he needs to have his box delivered. I need to have the bed done. Very good. All right. Those are good. Yeah, they are okay. Yeah. Or you may also say, I, yeah, no, that's okay. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. 
give you us may, another example. <laughs> you may, yeah, I'm, I'm going to. Uh, you may also add in some of these sentences, whom or like where. For example, I need to get my my desk clean by. I don't know. Tomorrow. Oh sure, okay, or by I don't know, uh, Rafa's shop, or I don't know some name or Capri. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so you may add the at or by. So you may make them a little longer. And in this case, you're not omitting it for all of the sentences. You can say, for example, uh, instead of saying I, I, well, you have one as he needs, right? Or you can say, if my question would be, tomorrow we're studying questions, but if I said, do you know where uh, Alejandro can have his um, haircut? And then you say, ah, he can have his haircut at the uh, Mustache Barbershop. Okay. Or do you know where my wife can have um, her dress done? Oh, yeah, she can have it done at the best seamstress in town, you know. Mm -hmm. But the, your sentences are okay, Francisco and, and Jose. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Just give me one more minute. I need to go check on two more groups. Okay. 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 Hello, Rocio. Hi, Diego. Hello. You finished Hello, your sentence? Hello, teacher. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. I want to have my TV fixed as soon as possible. I will want to have my car fixed, but I don't have money. <laughs> I will get my clothes washed by my mother the next week. All right. Okay. Very good. Yes. That's okay. They're fine. Fine sentences. Very good. Well done. Okay. All right. We're okay. going to uh, go back uh -huh. and we're going to share some of your sentences. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right, guys, let's see. David Rivas, can you share with us one of your sentences, please? Okay, I will say the sentences. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you can have your cell phone fixed mm -hmm. by Mr. Cell phone. Uh, oh, cool, uh-huh. The second is, uh, he, okay. he, <laughs> I don't know. You you can get your you can get your shirt both at Simang. Okay. All right. Very good. See the, right. the last one is yeah. he can have his microwave um M in um, M. I don't know. He can have is possible. He can have to say it say it again because I missed the verb. Okay, give me a uh, oh, fixed. I will, I, I will write the, the sentence. All right, the, okay. All right, very good. I uh, need to, to uh, check the, the sentence. All right, that's okay. All right, Cecilia Mendez, can you read your sentences? Teacher, um, uh, still, still the sentence. Okay. Because because it's difficult um, for me. Okay, all right, that, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Um, eh, hey, 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 let's see. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, Lizzie, yeah. Uh, I have a question. First, when we have third person and we use the auxiliary can, we can use has or have. You can use? Has or have. He has to get, if you're using present, okay. he has to get his car fixed. Okay, my question was, she can has her computer by uh -huh. the HP restore. All right, so, but on that one, listen, because you're using can, you cannot use has. Okay. This right, is yeah. <laughs> if you use can before the have or has, then you can't. You have to say he can have. 
if you only use he ha for example eric has to get but that would be like yeah mm -hmm. in that case it's yes the question for the auxiliary. right okay. yes because you're using a mo the model can i yes. remember that when you use can model have, uh, so she can have her computer repair by hp store right yes very good all right let's see uh williams thank you Lisa. Williams, can you give me one yeah. sentence and then Norma, please? Okay. You can get your computer checked at Human mm. Packer. All right. Very good. All right. Norma? You can have your gene fixed by sewing. All right. Very good. Now, remember, this is for everybody, mm. not, on, not for Norma, not for William. This is for everybody. The verbs, you cannot, I mean, you don't have to only use fix and check and bought. I mean, it's all the verbs that you can imagine. All right, I mean, whatever verb that you want to think about, you can have a nice photo taken at RAF. So I, I use the verb taken, all right? Or I don't know, some like the mangoniada that Noemi was eating. She, <laughs> I made it popular, <laughs> Noemi. Uh, you can have the mangoniada prepared by her daughter, all right? Or something. I mean, the verb is not limited only to fix. All right, make sure that you understand that. For example, teacher, she, she can have her food cooked by yeah, her husband. Of course, yes, perfect. Of course, right. So it's any verb that you can think of. It's not only fix, fix, fix. It's all of them. Those millions and zillions of verbs that you, can, that you know already, all right? So it's like all of them can be like used in that structure, yes? All right, I was checking like uh, most of your sentences and I could see that you guys are getting it. So it's not so worrying because at the <clears> beginning I thought, oh, oh, they didn't really understand it, but you guys understood it. So that's good. So tomorrow, uh, answering to Manuel's question, uh, where's Manuel? He left. Manuelito? No, he's there. Uh, to Manuel's question about the question, we're going to study that tomorrow. It's not a big deal. And then also referring to what you asked me, Eric, okay? So depending on the question is how you're going to be answering it. But tomorrow we're going to eat, and we're going to, we're going to eat. <laughs> we're going to talk about, I'm hungry. I'm going to talk about that. So don't worry about it, okay? So tomorrow we study this a little for the first, let's say, 15, 20 <coughs> minutes. We're going to go over this again so you guys understand it better. And then we're going to go on with the questions and the answers and then some more practice, all right? All right. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna send the presentation and Mercito antes que me regañe right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you guys can have it. Ojalá la estudie de verdad, Elmer, porque I don't know. La queremos mucho. No, yo sé. All right. Very good. All right, guys. So thank you so much. It was very nice to see you. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye